This video is part of the Irish Hospice Foundation's Care and Inform series of resources in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. In the current COVID-19 pandemic, there may be situations where you have to deliver difficult or bad news to a patient or a family member. How you communicate the news is really important. This video will provide you with guidance on how to deliver bad news well. Whether it's something you have to do every day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or on rare occasions, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. delivering bad news is never easy. <laughs> Here are five scenes, each depicting one of five steps in the process of giving bad news. Following this process will help you deliver the news, help you look after the person who's going to get it and look after yourself too. So what is bad news? Obviously, this is subjective. What's bad news to one person may be less serious to another. Really, the only person who can decide if it's bad is the receiver. Step one is about preparing. Take a few minutes to gather your thoughts before you have to break the news. Breathe. Find a quiet, private space somewhere you won't be interrupted. It's a good idea to have a colleague with you, someone who can be there as an extra support to you and to the person getting the news. Make sure you know all of the relevant facts and have all the relevant information to hand. For example, recent history, test results, treatment options, etc. The second step is about person-to-person -person connection and human kindness. Even though you need to remember social distancing and keep a distance of two meters between you and the person receiving the news, do this in as kind and as caring a way as possible. Take a bit of time. It's really important to make a personal connection here. Tell them your name if they don't already know it. Sit down with the person if this is possible. It's easier to break bad news if you're building on what the person already knows or suspects. So begin by asking them what they know. For example, with a person who has had some tests, tell me, what do you know about the tests you've been having? You may have to talk to a person while using personal protective equipment, or PPE. It's really important to be as humane and kind as possible. Your tone will be especially important, as will using friendly and easily understood hand signals and gestures. Then step three is about actually breaking the news. Start by giving a warning shot to allow the person to prepare themselves. Yes, your test results have come back and I'm sorry, but the news isn't as good as we'd like. Avoid jargon. Break the news gently and slowly using simple and clear language. For example, I'm sorry to have to tell you that you have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. Bad news can feel like a stomach punch. People who are shocked cannot take in a lot at a time, so break the news into chunks, making regular checks for understanding. If they're silent, remember this doesn't necessarily mean that they have absorbed or comprehended all that you've said to them. Check again and repeat anything that hasn't been understood. The fourth step is about dealing with the person's concerns. Give the person time to take the news in and to respond. Don't be tempted to fill the silences or to rush ahead with further details. Give them time to voice their concerns before you start giving them practical details. Wait. Wait. Check and listen. Acknowledge the person's emotions. This is probably a bit of a shock for you. Wait. Let them respond. Repeat the news one last time. It's unlikely they will have grasped everything. So just for clarity, let me tell you again what we know about this. The fifth and final step is about follow through. When they're ready, Tell them what you have organised for them, what happens next, 
and what support is available. Even if the news is really bad, leave the person with some hope. You could say something like, there are different options available to help manage your symptoms. We can talk about these more when you've had a chance to take in what I've told you. Just remember, you can never make bad news good, but the way you deliver it can have a huge impact. And finally, don't forget to look after yourself. This was probably quite difficult for you too. Make sure to take a few minutes and to debrief with your colleague. These steps are just a few simple reminders to help you to deliver bad news. Although the COVID-19 pandemic is challenging for everyone, you can make a big difference in difficult situations by the way that you deliver bad news. It will never be easy, but you can make a tough situation a little more bearable by delivering bad news with care, compassion and kindness. You can download a copy of these five steps from the Irish Hospice Foundation's website.